team like Kyrie and KD Or the Lake Show with King James and AD Wish I could match him up with the bad boys from the 80s But no black and white, I need that in HD Yeah, dog Yo, what's good y'all? It's your boy Ant Hen Dog and we back to it. You know how we do it. Another day, another Larry Bird reaction video. Shout out to the Bird Gang. Shout out to everybody that's watching my video right now, man. Shout out to y'all. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the like button. If you like this video, and go ahead and write something in the comments. This is the finale of Larry Bird's 50 Greatest Moments. I think we got what five plays left like there's not many plays left we didn't we didn't ran through it we didn't ran through this pretty fast so i appreciate y'all for watching um like i said if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button we're trying to get to 10k subscribers asap so let's get there let's get there tell your tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to the hen dogs the best youtube channel on youtube but let's get into it man we got larry bird's 50 greatest moments the finale part five let's get it i knew larry was out there shooting a thousand jump shots a day so i was out there shooting a thousand you know i knew he was working on his game every summer and i had to work on my game every summer but he wins the rookie of the year I won the championship. <laughs> and then we just went on from there. I always want to have one up on Larry, and he's going to try to have one up on myself. And that's what it's about. That's what a true rivalry is about. Facts. Larry Bird was beloved by the entire city of Boston, and all Celtic fans knew that it was part of their tradition to beat the Los Angeles Lakers in the NBA Finals. It was a tradition Larry desperately wanted to uphold. And the fact that his main rival, Magic Johnson, was the leader of the Lakers, made him want it even more. In 1979, Bird lost to Magic in the NCAA Finals. Mm. And from that moment on, they'd be forever linked. It was always Magic Bird, Magic Bird. Ever since Indiana State and Michigan State played, it's been that way. And in 1984, they'd finally meet in the NBA Finals. 1984? There was an incredible buildup, and the world was watching because now it finally came down to these two players that are looked at somewhat as saviors of the league in Larry Bird and Magic Johnson coming together for the first time to do battle. They won the East, we won the West. <laughs> so it's like uh, everybody just get ready, sit back, and uh, let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy it. <laughs> So I will be reacting to that entire series. I think that's gonna probably be the next thing I do after I finish this. Cause I just finished the the Court of Rivals uh, documentary. I just finished that. So I think I'm about to move into that 1984. I'm gonna react to every single game, start with game one, all the way to game seven. So make sure y'all subscribe, man, and don't and don't miss that. As the series opened, it was the Lakers who would enjoy it at the Celtics' expense mm. as they raced to a two to one series lead. Waves, it was waves of fast break. <laughs> I think it was a Running. We were going in the left. Larry Bird and his and his crew beat Magic and, and, and his crew. It was just that simple. The Celtics cannot handle the speed of the Lakers. We're taking both body shots. We were just we were in the clinch. We just, all we could do was stand against the rope and just take it. Has to be one of the most decisive rounds in championship. History. We went in the locker room and Larry made the famous statement that we play like sissies. We got some great players on this team, but we don't have the players with uh, the heart sometimes that we mm. need. I was sitting right next to him. Hey, that's calling your teammates up. His, his mad, angry uh, Indiana accent. And today when uh, you see Magic slapping high fives and uh, guys going behind their back and shooting layups on us all day long, it seems that somebody would try to put a stop to it, but until we get our hearts uh, where they belong, we're in trouble. He challenged all of our manhood publicly and he had never done that before. He said, hey, we need to meet these guys in the parking lot and start to fight out there. This is not the march of that, boys. This is the march of all the victory. That's what it is. We got in each other's face to a man and said there will be no more layups. No more layups in this series. No more layups. Oh! You knew this was going to happen. You could see it coming. 
when you Let's kill, see. catch something. Back then, was that just a personal file? I know some of y'all probably remember that exact play, that exact moment. Was it like a, a just a regular personal file, or did he get a flagrant? Did he get ejected? Like, let me know a little bit of context because I've always seen that play, but I don't really know what happened. I know in 2022, if that happened, that player getting ejected, he getting suspended, he getting fined. Like, it's gonna be all bad for him. But I don't know how that was back then. Let me know. You got to knock it down, to slow it down, and that's what they did. And um, just all hell broke loose. <sighs> The okay, Kareem. Larry, okay, Bird. Kareem got into it. And then Larry was taking the ball out of bounds. Michael Cooper was trying to guard him. Larry kicked it back and kicked him into the stands. It was, it was awesome. It was a great strategy move to take us out of our game. And uh, mentally, we were not there because we were trying to fight them instead of play basketball. So it works. So Boston's tactics worked. With Larry leading the way, Boston would claw their way into overtime. Now it was the Lakers who were reeling, and Larry was ready to deliver the knockout blow. It was almost like vindication for okay, Bird. that you know that you might have won during college, but you know what? Here's my opportunity. It's different now. If y'all haven't watched Winning Time, go ahead and watch that. I know this had nothing to do with Bird, but seeing Pat Riley right there made me think of Winning Time. Um, episode three just came out last night, and I didn't realize uh, Pat Riley was like that. So. Y'all let me know once y'all go watch it. Is that was that an appropriate, you know, a description of, of Pat Riley or did the show kind of dramatize him a little bit? Let me know. Once y'all watch it, let me know. He was down bad though. Four. Friday, June 4th, 1984. Brett the temperature Ford. at game time and inside the garden is 97 degrees Fahrenheit. 97? And there was no air conditioning. It was almost unbearable. It really was. By far, you know, I've spent time in Texas. I've lived in Texas. I've never been that hot. It was, uh, it was smothering. Ooh. You thought you was in this, you know, a sauna. 97 Korean. degrees? We had to have the oxygen tank because I guess the altitude is so tall. Well, no, nah, playing 97 degree weather should not be legal. Like, I don't, what happened? I was about to say uh, Boston was probably trying to do something to the Lakers, but I mean, they had to go through it too, so it's not like uh, they got an advantage off of it. But what could have been going on in this in this, this arena? Like, why is it 97 degrees in there? Well, if you're dying, you know, from uh, you can't breathe. Riley. You know, it was 100 degrees in, in Boston Garden. He looked fresh as a daisy. Right back. Hey! You know if Bird dunking is different. Bird not losing if he dunking. Oh, good block. You know he gonna shoot it and he gonna make it. We asked Larry about it and he said, oh hell, it's hotter back home playing in French Lick. I'm weak. He was completely magnificent in that game because it just showed might ever matter. Larry Bird went 15 for 20 at 34 points and 17 rebounds, and that was the defining game of that series. The Boston Celtics have the Los Angeles Lakers 121. I feel like Bird, one of them players, like he would never ever make an excuse for anything. Like if it was a 180 degrees in there, he would never be like, you know, we just didn't play well because of this or because of that. He would just be like, we didn't play well. Like we need to get better. Like. I feel like a lot of superstars or a lot of just players in general, like they always trying to save face a little bit. If if something's not going their way, they'll try to find scapegoats. They'll try to find reasons on why they didn't play well. But from my understanding, I could be wrong. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. But Larry Bird really wasn't the type to bring up excuses. Like it was going, he was going to do it. And if he didn't do it, he's not going to explain why he didn't. He just, I didn't get it done. We'll, we'll get it done next time. Now, that's kind of what I get from Larry Bird. Let me know. Tremendous credit for playing at 48 minutes. Steve Bad. Uh, it seems as though they held up a little better than we did. Oh, that's doing his hot air, bro. That was Mr. Bird. 
What do you say about Bird? The difference tonight was Mr. Bird. Oh, the difference tonight was Mr. Bird. They called him Mr. Bird. You know it's serious. Game seven, Boston Garden. Uh, the first game seven against the Lakers since 1962 in Boston. Uh, you know, and Bird, I mean, the whole thing coming to a peak. It was, it was a um, very, very highly anticipated game of basketball. And I will be reacting to it soon. Boston seized it. Larry had waited five years to settle his score with Magic, and now he finally done it. What no bird a series for the ages. We went through the tough of the tough. We went through the Lakers to get there. Absolutely no one believed it. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, we believed in ourselves, and that was a lot because of the leadership Larry had. So who was the favorite in this? Who was the favorite uh, out of Boston and the Lakers in 1984? Like before this 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 series started. Who was everybody saying was going to win this series? Let me know. To kind of put into perspective when I'm watching it on, you know, the, the, the actual games. The way you conducted yourself and the way you played made me proud to be a Celtic. Shout out to Bill Russell, man. Does this get you even with magic for what happened between Michigan State and Indiana State all those many years ago? Yeah, we're professionals now, but uh, I want this one for Terrell. I was just hey, any time playing against Larry. I want to win at anything. I hate losing to him. I hate losing. Don't bring it up no more. <laughs> I hate losing, especially to Larry Bird. The Larry Bird retirement ceremony. They had it on a night when there was no game. That's how special. That's what? How That's how they said it was no games? They filled the Boston Garden. And you couldn't get a ticket. Magic comes out, and it was just great. You had the Celtic t-shirt on. Underneath. And that's lit. The magic Larry Bird said that there would be another Larry Bird one day. And Larry, there will never, ever, ever be. That's real, man. That's real. I just reacted to the courtship arrivals. I just I just said that, but they kind of got into this a lot, and it was deep, man. I didn't realize like, you know, you 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 know how big of a rival they is, but you never really realized how much they really cared for each other, how much they really respected each other. Like that's something that I've noticed um, towards the later of their careers. Once they both got a little older and it was kind of coming to an end, you've seen the respect they have for each other. Like it was. You know, like no other. Like it's, 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 it's super, super dope to see. To pay tribute and to say thank you. There was nothing like that on earth. Tonight, my basketball career is officially over, and I had a blast. So tonight I leave. I leave basketball forever. I leave a game that I love. Sorry, but I'm gone. I'm gone. I dedicated my life to basketball, and I dedicated my life to the Boston Celtics. So, I say good night, Boston, and may God bless each and every one of you. Good night. Dennis Johnson, Jersey got retired too. And Burks. Red, you, you want to say something? What I want to say is, you know how it feels because you've been here before. Me, I haven't scored a point. You yeah, know? but you kind of brought the guys here that scored the points. Well, so you're over uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> There were so many qualities that made Larry Bird a great Larry player. Larry Bird and Bill Russell look like the same height. The will that was the most important. And on the tension filled night of May 26, 1987, when the Pistons and Celtics met in Game 5 of the Eastern Conference Finals, that will was on display for all to see.
I never realized why or how, well, how it happened, how the, the steal took place. But Isaiah was rushing. Like I didn't, I didn't realize that he was sitting there with the ref, like trying to hurry and get the ball in. If he would have just took his time, this probably play would have never happened. But hey, because of that, Larry Bird has a historic steal that we will always talk about forever. It's his, his number one greatest moment because Isaiah decided to, to rush the ref and try to hurry and take the ball out. Look at this. Look at Isaiah. Larry Bird had to quit. Look at him. Trying to rush it. Uh, what was the score though? That's crazy. So many players, they just wouldn't think that there's still a chance. And the fact that he just, he made it happen. You see his toes? Look how close he was to being out of bounds. Look at that. He might have been out of bounds, y'all. Don't, don't, don't kill me, Bird Gang. I'm, I'm joking, but uh, I'm kind of not. He looked like he close on that line, man. I don't know. But hey. Damn, he was super close to that line. But yeah, he made it work. I think that that's the single greatest play in Larry's career. It's just another sign that Larry was just, you know, destined or determined. I think it's a combination of both for him to, to be involved in so many special plays in his career. Larry Bird is retired, but the memories that he gave to the people of Boston and basketball fans around the world will live on forever. From all of us here at NBA TV, happy birthday, Larry. Shout out to the Bird. Larry Legend. Write some of Larry Bird's nicknames in the, in the chat, in the comments right now. What is it? Larry Legend. Uh, what other names does he have? LB. I know he had a couple names. Right, write some of his names. I know y'all, y'all, y'all know better than me what his nicknames was. But I appreciate y'all for watching. That was a great um, series. Uh, let me know what other series y'all want me to go through. If it's a long video like this, this was like 47 minutes long. So that's why I, I broke it into you know so many parts. But I appreciate y'all, man. This was this was dope. This was dope. Um, make sure y'all like this video if y'all liked it. And then go ahead and write something in the comments. I rock with y'all comments. Y'all be y'all be doing y'all thing in the comments. I be trying to respond to everybody. If I don't, then get on me. Like, hey, hen dog. Hey, why you ain't respond to my comments, bro? Like, I have something good to say and you ain't respond. And I, I try to respond to it. But I appreciate y'all like always. Until next time, we out.